The New York Mets, a team that's been around since 1962, they hold two World Series championships, last making it in 2015 when they ended up losing to the Kansas City Royals. In today's video, we're gonna bring the all-time Mets to life. So recently, the Mets picked up uh, the shortstop, I'm pretty sure his name is uh, Francisco Lindor. And you know, I mean, we're doing the all-time Mets, I had to add him to the squad. So this is what we got the all-time Mets squad looking like. In left field, we got Jeff McNeil. I mean, he's been a part of the Mets for quite some time now. The man is a, I mean, he's just a major professional hitter is what I like to call him. He got 123, 105 contact, 93, 65 power. He does have silver field. No, actually, he's primary left field. I lied. So he has gold fielding, 87 reaction. Then we added Willie Mays. Now, he did play for the Mets at the end of his career, but he's a legend. And I wanted him to play center field. If they had Carlos Beltran in the game, he'd obviously be the center fielder, but it's Willie Mays. Over in right field, we got Michael Conforto, who I think is about to sign an extension with them. I could be wrong, but there's rumors about that. That'd be a great extension for them. Demands the baller. I actually really, really like Conforto, and I love his swing in this year's game. For our first baseman, I mean, Big Me Pete. Was there anybody else was who was going to play first base other than Big Me Pete. Over at second, we got one of my favorite cards in the game, Robbie Cano. I mean, we're gonna do 360 with him, but when he was when he was released, he was probably my favorite second baseman in the game, and it wasn't really close. Again, over at shortstop, we got the newly acquired Francisco Lindor. I do not like that. I'm a Marlin fan. I don't like that the Mets are making all these big pickups, all these trades. And they got Lindor. Thankfully, they didn't get Springer, who just went to Toronto. That's a great pickup for them. Over at third base, we got Daniel Murphy. It's one of the glitchiest cards in the game. We have 171 at-bats with him, and we're hitting 503. That's just not fair. And then a catcher, like I said before, we just made World Series. I had to pick my boy Mike Piazza up, even though I hate a swing, and I'll probably go 0 for 4 in this game with him. For our bench... We got Cespedes, Todd Frazier, Brandon Nimmo, Donovan Smith, and Amid Rosario. Four hour pitchers. Starting on the bump, we got Jacob DeGrom. We're prestige. Jacob DeGrom. We also got Outlighter and Tom Seaver. And I added these two guys just to get their energy up. Now, the problem with the Mets is they have no bullpen arms in this year's game. It's really just John Franco, Edwin Diaz. Patances and Billy Wagner. So these are the only four guys I'm gonna try to use in this video But if I have to I'll use one. I don't know why that wait. He is part of the Mets So they have these five guys, but if I have to I'll use these two guys. So our lineup for the video We got Willie Mays leading off Cano second Piazza third Conforto fourth Big Mead Pete fifth Murphy six Lindor seventh and Jeff McNeil right at our lineup hitting eighth. If you guys haven't enjoyed the videos, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the all-time team builds. And as always, I would appreciate if you guys can turn on that notification bell so you get notified whenever video is live. As we find our opponent, I'm guessing he has a God Squad. And of course he does. He's my father, Clayton Kershaw on the mound with a bunch of monsters. We got the all-time Mets. Let's see what they can do. All right, Willie, you gotta start this game off right. That is not a good swing at all. I don't know why he would throw that pitch and not just like throw a meatball that I can hit. Can I sit? Wait, there's no way, right? Oh my goodness. What? That's like, if there's ever a home run that just means like, I don't know. Cano's is too damn good. If he throws a pitch over the middle, we're going deep. No, nope, we're going to work the walk. Oh. I, wait, that's not going to be a double play. Okay, we'll take that. That ball was destroyed. Of course, it had to be right to the first baseman. Who's our fifth hitter now? Oh, my goodness. Pete Alonso, go to the moon. I mean, I guess that's a pop lie. At least we got one run that inning. We'll see what Prestige Jacob DeGrom can do on the mound. Okay, so we know do not throw it inside the Mookie Betts because if you throw it inside, he will turn on it. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I have to throw a slider inside. It's gonna work. Please make that play. Let's go. It feels nice to pitch with like a top pitcher in the game. I feel like I've been using a lot of these like pitchers that are just not that good recently. And now that I say that, I'm guessing DeGrom's gonna give up like 20 runs this game, but he has the first two outs. All right, full count, two outs. 
There is no way he's suspecting this dot that I'm about to throw. Come on. Let's go. Lindor, the newly met. I need you to make that play. Why? It's always with two outs. It's always with two outs. Now Eric Thames is probably going to the moon. And we walk him just like that. And his base loaded. Are we going to walk him again? All right, 3-1. We're just going to throw with the four team. Hope he doesn't turn on. Oh, no. Oh, my. He said right to Lindor. What a weird ending that was. At least we got out of it. Well, that sucks. All right, Lindor, your first at bat with the Mets needs to be a moonshot. The Doing good thing it. is, Lindor has 125 contact against lefties. I just got to put a good swing on it. Uh, thank you, Lindor. To the moon! Well, he better not do that to the Marlins when the regular season happens. The perfect purpose is to line out and the ball that I'm not on is the homer. That's about right. Well, that was rude. Oh, that's gonna bloop. That's gonna be a bloop single. Uh-oh. Jacob DeGrom gets a little two-out bloop single. And here comes Willie. Now I gotta go deep. Oh my goodness. If that's not gone, I quit this game. If that pitch is not gone, I quit this game. I was gonna say. I was gonna say that ball should have been sent nine million feet away. Can I sit back a little bit? Well, at least we dropped three runs that inning. That's a dot. And I just don't get it. Corey Seager, it doesn't matter where I pitch to him, he's gonna demolish me. He's just gonna crush any ball I throw. That's a good pitch. Wow. I just threw two really good pitches to my opponent. He just put great swings on them. Pop it up. Why don't I, oh. That was fun. Love when that happens. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, but I just I don't get how that actually happens. It's the pitcher running. How does Daniel Murphy just not take his time and throw that to first base? Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Let's go. See ya! Right, we got two down. We've already given up four runs this inning. Can he not score anymore? Do not cash up to this. The swing and miss. All right, that's gonna work. Well, we need more runs. It's not gonna be a line out, right? Let's go. That's a good swing right there. If I run roll him, I, oh, all right, cool. Big me Pete. We were not gonna have an all-time Mets video without Pete going to the moon. All right, now we got Daniel Murphy. We got a perfect, perfect line out last at bat. He is the best card in the game. I don't care if he's a 99 overall, 98 overall, 62 overall. Daniel Murphy is better. I mean, I'm not even on that. I just missed it. I wanted that pitch. At least we got three that inning. Two, two, what do we throw here? What about a little two seam? See if we can locate. That's a dot. Let's go, see ya! Okay, we got an 0-2 count. We're going up and in with the slider. Watch this dot. He's not ready for it. He's not, oh, that's not up and in. I mean, I cannot throw any pitches. Wait, is Willie gonna catch this? Oh my goodness, Willie Mays, you need a back rub. Three. We can, let's go. Jacob DeGrom, for no reason at all, has such a glitchy swing. Imagine being early on that. And taking that. That was just a great at-bat by me there. Just a great at-bat. Yeah, I, I deserve to not do anything that inning. I just... That was bad. Usually when you mess up an inning like that, you give up four runs in the next inning. So I'm expecting him to go to the moon here. Or just ground out the second. That works for us. Uh-oh. 
He's gonna be late and just fly it out the left field. So we got two down, no two out rallies. You guys know how it is. Two outs comes, and all of a sudden I give up 66 runs. Let's just get Mookie Betts out here. All right, I'm actually gonna challenge him with an inside fastball, but I'm scared. I'm terrified. It's gonna work. He's gonna fly out the right field. All right, so we had a bad inning last inning. Let's put up another three runs this inning. I actually just turned on a ball righty righty with Mike Piazza. That never happens. That's gone. Conforto. I'm telling you guys, this all-time Smets team is so damn cracked. I just need to go to right field if he goes away. Or we can just turn on it and line out the left. I mean, why not? Why not? There is no way I miss that pitch. There is no way that's a pop up the first base. All right, Lindor, you've done it once. Can you do it again? No, you, of course you can, Lindor. Of course you can. Wow, well, we wanted three runs. We got three runs. We'll see if Jacob DeGrom can stay hot and keep getting out. I've learned how to get Mickey Mano out. If you throw inside fastballs to Mickey, usually your opponent's laying on it a lot. But do not throw it down the middle because he's gonna hit a moonshot. Actually, Willie's robbing this all day long. Oh, he's robbing it all day long! That was perfect timing. I cannot believe I actually robbed that. I thought I had no chance. I was just talking shit. The Mets team's just coming out and playing today. We got an 0-2 count. All right, DeGrom, dot the four seam right here. There it is. It's gonna fly out the willy. Damn. I'm kind of really liking this mess team to be real. I don't know why I opened my mouth. That's not good. We got lucky there. I want to go deep with the Grom. That was the pitch. That would have been the pitch to do it. Just missed it. Did Willie do it again? Did Willie do it again? That he didn't, but it's gonna be a triple. I don't not know how he didn't cast that, but we'll take it. He's gonna get the job done. Should have done more damage to that, but it works. One for two with Piazza. I want to go to the moon with this with him. Mikey? Mikey? Why am I actually enjoying his swing? Usually I hate his swing, but it feels like it's a little bit faster all of a sudden. I don't know. All right, we have a seven run lead. We got Tatis out. We never get Tatis out. Come on, DeGrom, I want you to dot this pitch here. Why? I love when he just takes that pitch. Why do you have to swing at it? All right, we're going up and out of the zone. Let's get a swing and miss here. That's not a swing and miss. Can Jet McNeil go catch that? No, he can't. That's a good swing. Look where that pitch is. How does he hit that that far? Lindor? No, he's in there. I don't know. Lindor's having a lot of trouble in the field right now for a 99 fielding shortstop. 99 fielding, and Lindor can't make any play over there. All right, we're going to throw the, the curveball here. Do not hit it far. Wow, what an at bat. It's a crazy at bat here from him. Ball four. Take your Hell of an at bat by him. Uh oh. Go get that, McNeil. Go get that. Just kidding. He's too slow. Oh, wait, what's happening? Throw him out of third. Throw him out of third. Shit, that would have been some cheese. I wanted to save Billy Wagner for the last inning, but I feel like I should bring him in now. I really feel like... You know what? We're bringing 99 Wagner in right now. In our last video, we went 12-0. We picked up this Billy Wagner. It is time for his debut. It's the biggest time of the game right here. We need a double play. Come on, Billy. Show me why you're worth a million stubs. Oh my, turn it, five, four, three, and that's why you get yourself a Billy Wagner. Full count, throw a meatball. We're gonna work the walk. Daniel Murphy has a perfect, perfect line out, a perfect, perfect moonshot. And now what's he gonna do? And now a double play. Ow. 
That ain't sucked. I already love Billy Wagner. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> My trout. It's too good. O2. Let's get him chasing here. That is not a good pitch. But it works! See ya! We got two down. Fernando Titties Jr., don't do it to me. They got Josh Bell and, and Swarber. Xavier. He's chasing this, guaranteed. Told you! Alright, let's go get that run back. Jeff McNeil! Perfect, perfect, my man. I gotta sit back on that. It's like I'm seeing the ball too well. I gotta sit back. That was a terror. Wait, that might be some cheese. That might be some cheese! And it's not. That was probably the pitch I should have destroyed. You know what? That wasn't the pitch. Wait, is that not gone? Robbie? It's not even close. Well, that's lucky. I will say about Batances that he does have a disgusting two-seam fastball. I'm surprised he didn't hit that out. I don't know why I praise pitchers. They all suck. He just missed that. He just dropped his PCI at the last second on that swing. We got Mookie out. He's going to fly out to Willie. Well, we have a six run lead heading to the ninth. Let's just, I want to score five more. That's what I want. I want a five run in in here. Bring a lefty in the face. Mikey, that's not a good decision. That's not a good decision. Mikey! Three for four? Wow. I don't think I could put a better swing on that. Imagine that being a line out. That's a pop up! Come on, Murphy. Another perfect, perfect for this man. He's the king of perfect, perfect, Daniel Murphy. How many home runs does this team have? They have to have at least 10. This team rakes. Lindor, let's get a third. Why not? Ah, oh, I missed it. Well, we have an eight run lead. We're gonna see if Dylan Patances can hold on to it. And if he does not, I'm gonna find Dylan Patances and we're gonna 1v1. I don't know what we're 1v1ing, probably in Fortnite. We're gonna 1v1 Fortnite. Uh oh. Just kidding. That works. Cody Bellinger is 0 for 3. Holy shit. I thought that was impossible. And now he's 0 for 4. He's being really, really nice to me, Cody. I'm going to send him a Christmas gift. It's a little bit late considering Christmas is, is past, but I'm going to still send him one. Three, wait, he's a triple away from the cycle. Who cares? Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, I mean, good swing. Good swing. Dot. See ya, GG. Daniel Murphy did hit two homers. So we hit Mace hit one, Cano hit one, Piazza hit one, Conforto hit one, Alonzo hit one, Murphy hit two, Lindor hit two, and Jeff McNeil hit one. So the New York Mets all-time squad ended up hitting 10 moonshots, and we got the win 14 to eight. Wow. This team crush the ball. This could legitimately be a god squad. Like, I could see myself using this squad in ranked season and having fun with it. That's how good this team is. Now, the pitching, on the other hand, not great. You have, you really have no bullpen. You have the Grom, you have Seaver, you have a couple starters here and there. So the pitching's not that great, but the hitting, on the other hand, is insanely good, and they showed off with 14 runs on 10 homers but i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys did make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the all-time team builds and as always i would appreciate it if you guys could turn on that notification bell so you get notified whenever a video is live and until next time i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i'm out